inspirational speaker and trainer from America. I have been here in Grenada for about a year. And it's a beautiful island, so I want you to give yourselves a hand for being here. First of all, I would like to thank Uprising Summer Program for allowing me this opportunity to say a few words to you. I do recognize that we have ages from six years old to adult. And so what I will try to do, or what I will do, not try, what I will do is speak to every age group in here so that you can understand what I'm saying. I understand that Grenada is celebrating emancipation. America also celebrates emancipation on July 4th. And so it's, it's a beautiful thing and really very uh, becoming to actually have this celebration now during the graduation. Because when you graduate, you're just taking a step. That's what graduation means, is to take a step. And education comes from the root word called educe. And what educe means is to bring out and cultivate that which is in you. Everyone in here has a dream. All of you young people have something in your heart and your mind that you want to do and what you want to be when you grow up, regardless as to whether you're six years old or if you're 16. And even the adults have dreams. However, sometimes the adults allow their dreams to die. You don't have to. Never allow anyone to take away your dreams. So what I want to talk about today is emancipation and freedom and having the freedom to dream and to make that dream a reality. Freedom is a mindset. That means it's something that you think in your mind. How many of you are familiar with Harriet Tubman? No one's familiar with Harriet Tubman? Now let me say something. Although you're here in the Caribbean and I'm from America, we all still went through the slave trade. You're here as a result as to the same reason why I was in America. We all were brought over in boats. Many of us were. Harriet Tubman was what they called an abolitionist. And what she did was she fought against slavery. And the thing is, you have a prison up on the hill. And those people to you are not free. They're locked up. But guess what? Some of them up on the hill are more free than you in this room because freedom is a mindset. Although Harriet Tubman was a slave, she was a slave, that means that she was owned by people, like many of our ancestors. However, again, freedom is a mindset. And no form of subjugation, and what that means is no form of oppression of any kind can contain a free mind. And what I mean by that is if you are free thinking, you can send your mind there and soon your body will follow. And that's exactly what Harriet Tubman did. She was a slave. She was in bondage. But she thought free. Therefore, she fought to become physically free. And she freed a whole lot of slaves. And she never lost one. And she used the moon as her guide. So if you are free thinking, you can accomplish any dream that you, want to, that you want to accomplish. It's a mindset. It's an attitude. And no matter if you're six years old, no matter if you're 46, 50, 60, 70, we all have the ability to dream and make those dreams become a reality. Let me tell you what oppression looks like in everyday life. Oppression can be alcoholism. Oppression could be laziness. Oppression could be fighting. You know how you fight each other sometimes? Some of you all have disagreements and arguments. Huh? Do you understand what I'm saying? Am I talking too fast? No. I know sometimes that me being from America, it's hard to understand what I'm saying. And sometimes here, it's hard to understand what some of the people are saying here. But you know what? That's just a cultural divide because of the water. But every human being is touched.
touched by the heart. So that which comes from the heart touches the heart, meaning that it doesn't matter whether I'm in America, my husband is from London, or he's in London. Those are only miles and waters that separate us. But the human heartbeat is so much bigger than that. And let me tell you something. There's 196 million. 940,000 square miles of planet Earth. And you know what? All of that Earth belongs to the human being. So it doesn't matter if I'm from America, or if he's from London, or you're from the Caribbean, Trinidad, Barbados, um, Fiji, wherever the case may be, it really doesn't matter. Because again, freedom is a mindset. Harriet Tubman was able to free herself and freed a whole lot of other people. But you know what the problem was? Harriet Tubman said, I could have freed a whole lot more people had they known they were slaves. See, the problem is many of us today are in bondage by premarital sex. We're in bondage by alcoholism. We're in bondage about by fear. We're in bondage about a lot of different things that hold us back. But we have the power, the capability, and the ability to move ourselves to freedom in different aspects of our lives. It's a mindset. It's an attitude. You understand? It's an attitude. And so your graduating today is one step forward, but life is about taking many steps. And so regardless as if you are six years old, or if you're 16, or if you're an adult, or near the, the end part of your life, life is still about taking steps. And there are principles in our life that transcends culture, that transcends race, that transcends gender, that transcends nationality, there are principles of life that transcends everything that divides. And so the importance of freedom is about understanding that life, the possibilities that you have, and the ability to make your dreams become a reality is within your reach. And no amount of miles, no amount of anything that divides you can take that away from you. The only one that stops you from making your dreams a reality is you. And so some people, in my closing, some people think that Grenada is an island that doesn't have a lot of resources. What I find coming from America, although I may have the convenience of different stores or transportation or being able to readily get things, Grenada is rich in soul and in spirit. And so I challenge each of you today to take that step, to tap into that soul, that spirit, and to move freedom from just a word that we say and something that we just sing or talk about a poem about, but to really exercise and live freely and take freedom in your own life by never letting your dream die, no matter what your obstacles are, you can overcome them. I do have a book entitled The Beauty of Being Free. And that book is available on my website, which is themarriagetree.net. Of course, for the adults here, you can put the www dot in front of that. But that book is free. I offer that book free when you sign up for my email list as a way to begin to move you thinking from an I can't position to an I can and I will. Does that make sense? Yeah. So in my closing, I would like to thank you for listening. And children, congratulations for graduating today. But let this only be the first step to no matter what you're faced with as you grow up, is to never let your dream die, okay? Believe in yourself and know that you can. And never let anyone take that dream away from you. And that goes for the adults, too. Thank you for listening. And I thank you. Hi, I'm Uncle Jones from Baylorick TV. I'm here with Marva Victor, one of the parents um, who attended the Uprising Summer School in Vincent, St. David's Great, great, great. So, 
today, obviously you were sitting in the audience, you were listening in. Yes. Um, was there anything in particular that you saw that caught your attention? Or? Um, one of the things is the speaker. Okay. The speaker is here. Um, could I just... Yes. <laughs> me was the beauty of being free. Uh -huh. That's one. And freedom is a mindset. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that, um, again, is many of us are living in bondage. Uh -huh. And I thought those three sentences, it's really thick, stick. Also, uh, so was the speaker today? Yes. It, it run chills to my bones, you know, it raised the force. I mean, I thought she was very powerful, she was deep. You 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 had you had no choice but to listen. She taught us well and I learned a lot and I would do anything just to hear her speak again. So it motivates me as a parent, you know, it teach me that that not because that you 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 were from from um slave ancestors that you have to remain a slave mm -hmm. you know you have to emancipate yourself be free mm -hmm. free first in your mind yes. and i thought that what stick with me being free of the mind absolutely so because in your speech it really touched me a lot and i just want to wish you all the best and continue doing a good job thank you you're most welcome What are you writing? Harriet Tubman. Okay. I am writing Harriet Tubman. What's your name, babe? Kayana. I'm writing Harriet Tubman's name for Kayana because I talked about that today. And Harriet Tubman helped to free a lot of people. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Tell us a bit more about Harriet Tubman. Well, Harriet Tubman was what they called an abolitionist. She was, a, she was a slave, and she actually freed herself and then went back and freed about a thousand slaves. Although she said she could have freed a whole lot more people if they knew they were slaves. See, a lot of times people are in mental bondage, but they don't even realize that they're shackled by oppression because of their mindset. And so I use the analogy of Harriet Tubman today so that I can help the young people here and even the adults understand that freedom is a mindset. And no form of subjugation can contain a free mind, one that is conscious and aware. So what I was doing was dropping the seeds of consciousness. And although today the children may not understand what was said to them, but I put things that drove right into their subconscious that, are, that at the right time that seed will begin to sprout. And then soon it's like they'll have an epiphany. Right. So, I mean, they talk a lot about emancipation, emancipation, emancipation. How much do you think they really understand the importance of emancipation in their own personal lives? Well, they understand it from a sense of a physical perspective, but they don't understand it necessarily from the depth of what emancipation is about, which is about freedom. And honestly, when you talk about the etymological root of freedom, it means to love and to live. A person cannot live if they're not free. And the... the, the no matter what kind of oppression a person is under, there's no way to break those chains of oppression until you can break the chains or the shackles of mental bondage. And what you see in Grenada, in America, in London, and all throughout the world, in Canada, you find a lot of people who are oppressed and suppressed, and they're not able to be consequential forces in the world because they're bogged down by a mental slavery. So how would you tackle that in Grenada or in the Caribbean? Well, first of all, there's a saying that a very wise man said is accept your own and be yourself. The first way that you can attack mental bondage is first of all to understand who you are. You know, unfortunately, slavery and the people in the Caribbean are no different because they come through the same vicissitudes that people in America and people in London did. But the first thing you have to teach a person is the knowledge of who they are and their their roots. You know, once a person understands who they are, then they can, then they can accept who they are. And that's the first step in, in becoming free is the knowledge of yourself. Okay, you spoke today at uh, the Uprising Summer School. Yes. Tell us what you made of the whole 
graduation? It was a phenomenal event. Um, I, I have to tell you, since I've been in Grenada for about a year, I think that was one of the most progressive programs that we have attended. And what I was even more touched by is the number of parents that showed up to support their children. Because children, it's fine and dandy. They can believe in who they are. They can believe in themselves. But when they can look in the audience and see their parents rallying behind them and supporting them, that's something that those children would never forget. There's something I noticed significantly in the group today. There were a lot of women there, but not a lot of men. Now at first I thought well maybe because the men may be out working, that's an assumption, but we know that there are a lot of simple parents here in Grenada, so let's elaborate on that. You know, uh, Grenada, Grenada, like America and like a lot of other countries I'm sure, you know, particularly when you're dealing with certain communities and certain groups, the men are absent. Sometimes they're absent because they're foolish and they don't understand the importance of being there, not just financially, but physically and emotionally and spiritually. But also, um, some are absent because, you know, the certain conditions and circumstances in their life. And then others are absent because the women don't allow them to be present. And so Grenada, in that sense, is dealing with the same problems that America and the UK is dealing with. The men, particularly when you deal with certain communities, are absent, and that has to change.